And when she end up in a pain and go hospital two, three times, you don't hear about none of that. You don't hear about all the money where she lose. You don't hear about none of that. But trust me, she will feel it. A misery like company because of the wicked things that you do. Very, very evil. The other day, if anybody was supposed to get the Grammy, it was a she. Maybe Sean Paul for him contacts and Shaggy. You understand? For, for try to push the thing. But she don't deserve no award. She's an evil bitch. If I had a choice, I would want... Chancey not deserve the award either. None of them don't deserve it. None of them don't deserve it. But let me tell you something. I have the powers to skin her and to fuck her up. But I'm not going to waste my energy on you because you're already wasted. Wasted. You're, you're be beneath me and you think that you're above me. You understand? But the I am monkey climb is the more he expose. And because you say that my mouth is stink, I know me I go fling the lyrics. And I hope you can deal with it. Because it I go fling some things I go come out of my mouth. The world gonna agree that nobody feels the like a Mary. Yes, Spice, I agree that my mouth is stink. And I hope you can angle it in 2023. I agree. My mouth stink, but my body no stink dark shit. I dat your finger angle. I'm gonna cut your fingernail them. Dirty bomber talk, bitch. You know how long that the body gone? That the body been gone and she can't afford surgery. Bitch, I have to turn around and I wear panty with booty. You understand, bitch? What you need to do? When you go on stage, we don't need to see the clad up, clad up and all of that. Show a belly like Marina. You know, can't show a belly like Marina. Kind of have on um, tummy tuck, decent gurgle and all kind of things. You cannot show a belly like Mari. A 13 pin may have a Maria show a belly on Instagram. Show in a belly. Show in a belly dog shit. I'm going to say, you know, are you me I talk to dirty bungalow? You cannot show your belly. You can't. And you can't have a show. You notice she never can show like um her booty edge or nothing like that. Because she have on the black panty underneath with the fake booty. Because bitch don't have nobody to take care of her if she go back for surgery. Plus she can't afford it. Brought no bumble cloud. The other day, the bitch said she gave her mother what? Millions of dollars. Don't be fooled by that. Come back. Mama, mama, see me I'm giving you a million dollar something like that. Let me tell you, bitch give her mother the million dollar and as the camera turn off, this little dirty dog shit, stinking body whore, asks back her mother for the money. She I try to do one of them cards to be tricks, you know, because that's what them doing at Hollywood nowadays. Then give them man money for present and then make them go buy what they want to buy. Cardi B can't afford it. You can't, bitch. So the bitch try to copy it. Come on, mama, for your mom, mama, a real idiot. You need to go down upon her knees and pray for your shit house. I just love you, Mari. I just love you so much. I don't know, I don't know, better you did just, I'm zip, bitch. Better you did just continue ignoring me. You understand? And if you are come, come good. One sentence, that no good do it. Here the bitch now, here yeah, now. Um, um, I don't know that the stinking my girl call up my name. Leave me alone! <laughs> That's the best you can do. That's the best you can do. You know what? I'm going to be a fair person. I'm going to be fair. Yeah, I'm a three months pregnant. I hope you know who we belong to this time. Okay. And about a make me come mash up your life. I sang about you, bitch. You know, I say, I'm a man named Nicholas Nico. I said, Nico, mash up your life. Bitch, bitch, bitch did not even mention my music. When, when big pioneers like M M Maka Diamond are talk about my song, Chen C, I sing it. Chen C, my beautiful angel. 
you couldn't utter a word because you know say Nico did mash up your life. You, you don't know say I'm a near Nico. The dog shit never make you no know. Say so missing home right after Nico go sleep with our friend. Me say Nico, you mash up my life. That was our man. <laughs> no, you know. Our son named Nico too. Just, just for sure, how much me take up for that shit house. Cause Bob definitely was not Nico. Bob is Bob. Nico is Nico. I went did write me what to do. He is another one. He wrote me, wanted to go up against her. I'm a cuss off Nico and race him up and dog him pan line for her, you know? When Nico did want me for bring her down. Mm-hmm. Me tell us, eh, man. Some people just feel, say, for them glory gone last forever. I am not unhappy about you getting some fame. Everybody deserves an opportunity in life. But your time have been up from last year. I see the clock upon the wall, and it matters to me at all. You talking about smelling my mouth from a distance? You don't smell that sweet aroma. It's called success. That's me, bitch. You don't smell the aroma of Amari taking over this industry. You don't smell that? Your nose no good. I see the clock upon the wall. I went on Facebook and I said, watch out for me, Spice, I'm coming. But you did not take me seriously. I came, I saw, I conquered. I'm going to be lenient. You have about six months to go before you give birth to your child. I don't want anything to go wrong. So after today, I will not stress you lyrically. And because of that, you're going to feel like you got me to shut up. No, I respect life. You understand? Like I say, I'm the mother of 13 children. I'm going to give you time, Spice, to go and have your child in peace. But get ready for me in 2000. And 23. I'm giving you six weeks after you have baby. Go do your tummy tightening. Do everything. And let us meet up in the studio. Lyrics to lyrics. Yeah, content for content. And let's go at it. Don't run up your mouth, darling. Let's go at it lyrically. Real competition. Me not no time for waste on you. Me not no time for the small talks. You understand? Because the truth is, lately, I haven't heard of you. You aren't trending on Facebook. You aren't trending on YouTube. So you're trying to be relevant. Because you know all I was talking about was Chen C. And so you're trying to steal the, 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 the um, limelight from Chen C. You see, from the other day, I stopped talking about Chen C. Things kind of died down a little for her. Because you stole the spotlight. You are a limelight snatcher. You want to be relevant. It's actually the other way around. People think that it's Amari who want to be relevant. You want to be relevant. That's why you stole my song, Ping Pum Pum, and ran with it. Because you knew I would talk about it. And you knew that the focus would then be on you. But I'm going to take that spotlight off, off you. As of today, you don't exist. Do you hear me? You do not exist. So, Spice, don't even think of me. When you go to pray, don't mention me to God Almighty. Because he don't recognize you. You're a waste of his time. You're a waste of his creation. He created you to do good. You have yet to do one thing. Did you go and help the people in Montego Bay? Did you help them to find the lady that's missing? You should hire some dogs and have them out there, darling. What is your purpose in life? I just don't understand.
Or like Cardi B, who buried the people in Bronx. You should have made sure that the little boy got a good funeral. Rest in peace, darling. You see, Amari have to be picking up the pieces and doing the work around here because they refuse to do what they're supposed to do. They're too busy waiting for people to bow down and worship them. What have you done? Have you come online and sent condolences to the mother? No wonder Amari is the first lady of dancehall before my time. Have you? Have you come online and sent out condolences to the people of Montego Bay? Have you sent a check to buy food or to help them to build back their homes? So why are people following you to make you richer? How is it benefiting them? Now I see why you did not win the Grammy. I love you, Mari. I love you, God. Oh, God bless no man curse. I'm appointed and I'm anointed, and I will be your biggest threat in this industry. You will not fear Chancy, but you will fear me. I demand your respect. Like it or not, you're going to bow, bitch, bow. You will have to bow, whether you like it or not. And say, Hosanna to the Queen, because I've replaced you spiritually and i shall take over my kingdom physically thy kingdom come that was talking about me bitch thy will be done on earth <clears throat> as it is in heaven <laughs> and i look and i saw angels applauding azana to the queen amari azana to the queen that is coming to help the children of jamaica Bitch, the time you busily making kids, you should be taking care of kids already born. Ain't no time for that right now. Ain't no time for that. And you really gonna squat after this? Bitch, keep your legs closed. Do me a favor in 2023. Keep your legs closed. Instagram. I love you and I miss you so much. I'm over facebook.com slash Venice Function One just pruning my little page. I have like 40,000 fans and I'm comfortable with that. That's not my main page. My main page is facebook.com slash Amari777. But I'm just there chilling. You know, I can't take all this fame. Not ready for it yet. 2023. I'm over there practicing. I'm practicing my modeling. <laughs> you should see me. And I'm just practicing how to deal with fans and, you know, building my relationship with them. And sometimes, you know, the little things in life, it's so beautiful and it humbles me. You know, you can come and join me. Facebook.com slash Venice Fung Chang. You know, I'm really enjoying it. Do, am I feeling any guilt about Spice right now? Let me check my contents. Are you there? Any guilt? Only the child, the unborn child. I wish the child a safe delivery. Any more guilt, Mari? None. Any envy? Well, I do wish I had a man to pose up beside me, but I'm not willing for bad enough shoes. When I when I go grab me a meal, I buy clothes for myself. When I buy no clothes for no man, a little envy, a little. Okay. Anything else I have to clear up before I go offline? I'm gonna miss you, Inst. Uh, my baby, you know you're my baby. I love Instagram more than all my my pages and my platforms. I love Instagram the most. <laughs> no, that's the <a> truth. <laughs> Yeah, mm -hmm. I want to I wanna big up that singer that I love, man. I love her. I love her voice in reggae music. I really love her. But big up to Tanya Stevens, you know, to whom respect, respect must go through. These streets don't love you like I do. Mm -mm -mm. Love you, Tanya Stevens. 
you know. And I, I, I want to big up the real pioneers in reggae music. Judy Mowat, Marcia Griffiths, you know, Rita Marley. Real reggae music. Not this bullshit that these motherfuckers be singing. That ain't music. Big up to Cartel all the way, you know, and big up to... I don't really know many reggae artists, but lately I've been playing, um, what's his name, Cranium? Cranium. I, I, I love his songs. Not all of them, but um, I do love, mm, I, I love that. Girl, you take my people, you take my people, eat chop, chop. <laughs> Big up to Cranium, yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, I just wish... Um, the good up, good up reggae artists will join with Mari so that we can be a force to reckon with, you know, and put out some music, you know. I, I You know, something told me I need to go to Jamaica. Like how they have lived the two weeks things. It's just a perfect time to go to Jamaica and hook up with some of the big artists then. I think instead of me sitting here and talking, talking, I must get to work and prove myself because I really don't want you all to give me what I'm not entitled to. Let me work for it. Let me earn it. Let me earn your respect. I need to put in the work, you know, and I think that it's the right time to go to Jamaica. I need to take a trip, you know, and, um, I, I look forward to seeing you all in Jamaica soon. Definitely, 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 you know. And, um, you know, to stop by and put some flowers on Colin's grave, you know, and to and to deal with, with his death. But, you know, you know what is sad? The video that I did where I was um, congratulating Spice... You know, that video was really meant for me. I did it for myself. Because the sign that I put up, it's the number one sign. And that's a sign that Colin left me with before he died. Every time I'm doing a video shoot, it goes like this. To constantly remind me that there's nobody like you. There's only one star. That's you. You're number one. So when I did the video at the mall, it was to go with, there's only one star, one star, you know it's the truth. And you know what? I sacrificed and decided not to feature my song and to promote myself, but to use the occasion to, to really, you know, congratulate Spice because in my heart I know how she must have felt to lose in the Grammy for every video that I do I should be promoting my songs and I use these videos to promote other people's songs because I am not a selfish person and I used the video to promote you got so many views on Instagram was not monetized. I could understand if it was monetized, then I would say I did it for attention. But Spice, I said it from my heart, and I did it from my heart. When I called you a Nubian queen, from the depths of my heart, and when I congratulated you, and when I said that all Jamaicans are proud of you, I sincerely did it from my heart. But I honestly did not expect you to turn around a couple of weeks after that and call my mouth stink. You have sent back my blessings to me. You know, that just goes to show, sorry for Marga dog, them turn around bite you. But God is watching. I swear on my 13 children, that I did it from my heart. I know that a lot of times I like to play games and give comedy and have fun, but may I die right here, right now, if I didn't do that from my heart. I sincerely meant it. Sincerely meant it. At the end of the video, I said, I even said, I love you. I could have taken that back. 
I could have erased it after I said it. But I kept it there. And the video is still there. I cannot tell somebody I love them if I don't truly love them, Gracie. I cannot do that. I want to cry. I have a song. I have a proof to you that this girl really evil. I have a song when I do years ago. You can't go look at the song name um, Shubis Are Talking. And you, it's at ReverbNation.com slash Amari1. Shubis and then R, not A R E R, talking without the G. Should be on YouTube too. And in the song, which was did about five years ago, I talk about spice or oh, everything nice, buff booty. Everything's nice, and I call her goody. Goodies like spice, buff booty. Everything nice. So people may not know that my love for spice go way back. But spice hatred from for me, I think it may have stemmed from gully bop. Because I don't see what I could have done for this girl to have hated me from a long time ago. I think it stemmed from gully bop giving me the hype and she being upset. Because back then she reigned, but bop made me famous. You understand? And I think she despised that fuck. You know, there was no real reason to hate me. None, none whatsoever. But you know what? I want to thank you, Spice, for hating me. Because it makes me strive for your approval. It makes me keep on trying to be accepted by you. In my mind, I imagine getting the award from you someday. And you're, you say to me, well done. You deserve it. It's like you always feel like I'm not in your category. And I keep working harder and harder to reach your level. So that you can see me eye to eye. Yeah. So I want to thank you. And I know the day that you do come online and mention my name in a respectful way, it will be the most beautiful day of my life. I'm not going to eat you. I'm not going to eat you. A lot of people may even be upset with me. Because one day you're going to end up being my good up, good up friend. Because the Bible says we'll make your enemies Become your footstool. And God says, if you cannot beat them, you're going to join them. You cannot beat me, Spice. One day you're going to join me. And when you give me your approval and your love, I'm going to accept it. I'm not going to eat you. And I will live to see that picture. But people are not going to forget. Just remember that going to be Amari and Spice. I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. Because the truth is, I'm going to look at you. I me me already start writing uh, when I said the acceptance speech. I said, I couldn't have done it without you to my fans. I go say I couldn't have done it without you. And then I go turn to you. And I go say I couldn't have done it without you. You see this life? Be careful of the people that you put down here, my girl. Be careful of the people that you talk bad about. Be careful of the people that you don't want to make peace with. Because life... It's so funny, the tables may turn where there's a big opportunity, a big show, and I'm going to have the say. Facebook is about to become a brand new thing, you know, and it's dear Samari so going to bust out as a star. They're already in contact with me. I'm going to be like this movie star on the new Facebook, on the new meta, what them call it. And a day shall come 
when they're going to say, I'm married, choose three people in dance hall that you want on this show. And it's going to be up to me whether you be on the show or not. Be careful about life. Remember that you are not God. Remember that God have the last say. Watch your heart. Check your heart, my girl. Check your heart. You're going to call a servant of the true and living God. Mouth stink. The mouth that defended you. The mouth that congratulates you. And the mouth that corrects you when you are wrong. The other day, the one person that really, really support me in dance hall. Of course, big up Chensey, but Maka Diamond. Maka Diamond was dragging your name about this obia thing. And I said, Maka, I come online and I said, Maka, I know I say you need a script for run with, because Maka had a movie coming out. And I said, Maka, but don't drag her name for no reason. It not call for. Me come online and me, and me race up Maka. And I said, Maka, just run with something else. But don't drag her name about this obia thing and all these things. We are woman, make we stick together. That me tell Maka. From that, Maka don't deal with me. Maka heart was broken. Come and meet Maka in person. Hug her, kiss her. I'll feel her up. Girl, sex in a blood clot. Body good. You understand? And me and Maka have a nice time in our studio. We are popular lick over one another and we're just having fun as girls. I never get along with nobody like how I get along with Maka. I'm a come online. I'm a diss Maka for you. Diss Maka and lose the best friendship. Maka already started opening up doors for me. Ready for do a collab with me. Say, Mari, I want you to go up on the show. Yeah, Maka called me and said, Mari, I have a show. I want you to have a birthday party. This person have a show. I tell them, make sure Mari is on it. I really want to cry. And it better me just cry and get this thing off. And I come here and me, 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 me this Maka for you. And lose the girl who could have been my best friend in the industry. But it's, it's like I always follow my heart. Me realize people will love you, you hurt them. That is what you do. And big up to um the girl there, the original social media superstar. I wish your name again. I wish your name, my girl, the man. We we'll give the joke, the man, all of that. You understand? She write me a lot of times, more than once. What's your name, man? All of that, the name, not to leave my memory, man. And I know the girl the name. I wish your name. Oh. The girl the man. She offered me a woolly pa show. And we turned on the show then. Hold on there. Let my page talk. Go to my page talk. Look at my page talk, you know. Uh, Wally British. Wally British, enough respect. Are them girls that I should not talk about will look out for me. You understand? Wally British make me so many offers. Let me see what I'm going with me show. And I say, Wally, I'm not ready for performing, you know, Wally. I'm not ready for perform. And I'll show for you thousands of dollars. You understand? And them people that me for sure respect. The time me I waste time upon you. But, you know, I just saw life go. You know, I'm not going to talk about you no more. And life goes on. I wish you all the best. But in six months, six weeks, we will meet in dance hall. All right? And yes, my mouth stink. I accept it. You have never said anything so real. You understand? You are right. So let me go back to doing what I do best. Entertaining my audience. Facebook, here I come.